Good morning, developers. If you're new to the channel, my name is Robin. On this JavaScript Tuesday, we're gonna talk about hoisting one of those sneaky mechanisms built into JavaScript that if you don't know how it works, it has absolutely wreaked havoc with your code at some point. It was years before anybody explained it to me, and I don't know quite when it happened, but I definitely remember realizing, oh, there've been lots of times when I've written a bunch of code and it didn't work, and I had no idea why, and I just started rewriting stuff, and suddenly it worked. Even though it looked pretty much the same to me, hoisting is one of those things that's somewhat unique to JavaScript, and it's really simple. But like a lot of stuff in JavaScript, just because it's simple doesn't mean it's intuitive. You would never realize this on your own. You either have to do a ton of trial and error, or somebody just has to take a couple minutes and explain it to you. I will start off because it has to do with how you declare and initialize variables. We'll come back to that uh, in a minute, but we'll do a, a little bit here on the board and then we'll go look uh, in, a, in a code editor. There are four main groups uh, when, it, when it comes to declaring variables in JavaScript, at least with regard to hoisting. The first is var, and if you're, you're new to JavaScript, you may not see this or you may not see it very often. Var is how, uh, was the only way to declare a variable from 1995 until 2015. It is kind of the catch-all for in 2015 with ES6, we got let and const. And I'm putting these uh, these two together because they will behave the same way with regard to hoisting. Again, we will, we will get there in a sec. The third way would be a function. And this is gonna be like a named function where you have a function run open close brackets, right? You're not putting it in a variable, it's literally a function. And then lastly, when you have a function expression. So you have taken a, a function, and I'm gonna do express there instead of spell it all out, but we have say const run equals, and then we have an, an arrow function, okay? The reason <laughs> this one kind of falls with function, but it also kind of falls with those variables. Again, you'll see in a minute here. These are our four ways to declare a variable. And let's say that you are coding along. And at some point you have var x equals three. I'll give you I'll give you let examples in a bit if you're not used to var. Right after that, you do x plus three. Now, you should know perfectly well, I'm gonna put a comment in here, what would that equal, right? What is this going to evaluate to? Well, the number six, right? Because it's three plus three, except you could beforehand do this, x plus three, before it's declared. And this is not going to err. And if you're a Python, C Sharp, Java, C developer, this should make your head spin, right? This has to kick up a reference error because X isn't de declared until the next line, except it is going to not a number. <laughs> why? Why, first of all, does this not err? And secondly, why would it equal not a number? Well, this is why. When you run your program, the interpreter is gonna run through all the code and convert it to machine code. One of the very first things it's going to do <laughs> is go looking for all the vars, okay? Let, const, function, etc. It is going to take those and without bringing the initial value here, x equals three, it's just gonna take var x and it is going to put var x at the very top of the scope. So if it's in a function, it'd be at the top of the function. If it's not in a function, it would be at top of the whole program at the global scope. It doesn't bring the three, it just brings the declaration so that the program knows there is a variable called x, okay? We do not put this line in, <laughs> JavaScript does it for us. So again, if you're looking at this thinking this has to be a reference here, it's not a reference here because it is declared we didn't declare it, JavaScript declared it for us. The next line, what is x here? Well, there, it's a little bit different for everything, but in the case of var, x is going to be undefined. What happens when you add undefined with the number three? You get, you get not a number. Now, they're all a little bit different, and let's go look at this uh, in, the, in the code editor, but as I said, all of these, okay, it doesn't matter which one it is. They're all gonna get put up to the very top of the scope. If, uh, I'll put it in blue down here. If we had, as I said a minute ago, function run, open close with some brackets, and we got a bunch of code in here, this thing is gonna get moved up to the top of the scope. So you can call run anywhere in your scope and it will still know that run exists. These two work a tad bit differently. Uh, let's go check it out in our code editor. I have hoisting.html opened up. 
for people who don't have Node.js installed, but if you want to use Node in a, in a .js file, it'll work exactly the same, but we will test it out in the browser. Uh, as we saw on the board, we'll start with var. Var is the old school way to declare a variable. And if you still use it, it's still the new school way. But again, we already saw this. If we do var x equals three, and right below it here, we'll console.log x plus three, this will give us six. And if I copy this, and we'll drop in the, the same line here twice. We'll start off with just x. This is going to be undefined, and this is going to be not a number because what we did was uh, undefined plus three. Hop over and refresh, sure enough, there is X because it got hoisted to the top, not a number, and six. One more comment here, JavaScript is going to write the next line without asking us because it hoists variables. It's going to do var X equals undefined. This is important, this is the, the big difference between var and then let and const, it is going to get declared and initialized as undefined at the very top of the scope. And we are inside of script tags, so the, sc the scope here, we're not in a function, is going to be at the top of the function. Now this is something that can be a really big hang up. If you, if you uh, define a function, we'll call it scoped, open close, and we're gonna put in here console.log x, right below that'll do var x equals four, and then we will log uh, x right after that. And then I'm going to call scoped right here. You might expect x to be three. <laughs> Refresh, it is not. Line 14, it is undefined because var x equals undefined gets put at the top of the function. And I'll put in parentheses here. Uh, let's drop that down a line, the scope, okay? So this has, the, the parent function has its own has its own scope. The, the global scope is where we're at here because we're not inside of a function. We are inside of a function here, even though this line comes first, and you might say, hey, I'd really like to use the X that's out here first and then overwrite it. That won't work because JavaScript's gonna see this. It's gonna look inside of the function, gonna grab all of the variables and put them up at the top just like this, okay? So that's very important to remember. It is at the top of the scope. In my opinion, you should never run into this because you shouldn't be trying to use a variable named X out in the global scope and then immediately turn around and redefine it here. That's just not a good idea. There are an infinite number of variable names, so come up with something slightly different inside of your function. If you eliminate the var like that, this is no longer gonna get it scoped. Come back over and refresh. It does work fine, line 16, x is three, and then we overwrite the global variable, and then here on line 18, we print off the new value, but if we leave that var in, this will hoist in the function. If I copy this and drop it in without the var and comment it out, this will use the global var as long as we don't have a new var in this function. Okay, so that is var the long way. They all they all are gonna pretty much work the same way with a couple caveats. Let slash const is the new school way to declare variables. If we do let y equals three, and I'll console.log y right below it, and I will console.log y plus three right above it. Let's do the same thing we did before, I guess. We'll grab y and y plus three hop back over and refresh, we get a reference error. It says cannot access Y before initialization. With both let and const, JavaScript will hoist declaration, but not initialize it, okay? Unlike var, which is undefined. 
What do I mean? Well, if I try and console.log, we'll just throw in A, line 27 there, come over and refresh. Instead of cannot access A before initialization, we get A is not defined. Practically speaking, they're exactly the same thing. You're not gonna be able to make any use of your variable Y until you, you set it to something, but it is a very subtle difference uh, in the air. The exact same thing, I'm gonna copy all of that, comment it out, paste in, and we'll change our Y to a constant like so, refresh, we get exactly the same thing. It's not initialized. It is hoisted, so it's declared, it's just not uh, initialized. Alrighty, with functions, we can do function run open close, and I'll put in here console.log run ran, that's a little redundant, but if I call run before we declare the function that should make your head spin if, if you're used to C sharp, Java, C, etc. Come over here and refresh and it works just fine. With functions, JavaScript hoist the entire function. It isn't just the variable name, it is the entire function. So you can write the function anywhere in scope and you can run it anywhere in scope and it won't make any difference because JavaScript is going to do this. It's going to grab the whole function and put it up at the very, very top. Actually, it, it's going to do that. It's gonna put it up at the very, very top uh, of, a, of our scope. Okay, so this is just fine because the whole thing is gonna get set up there. With function expressions, and by that I mean a function in a let, const, or var, it is a little bit of a mix. It seems like maybe it would work like this, but it's actually going to behave as with one of these other two. So if we do const run me equals uh, open close like that, we'll do a rocket function and I'll put in here console.log run me ran. <laughs> Sorry for the redundancy. But if we try and do run me open close, hop over and refresh, we get that same error, cannot access run me before initialization. The variable gets hoisted, the function does not. Just like up here, it's not complaining that it's not defined, it is, it has been hoisted, it just isn't set as anything. If I comment this one out, and I drop in here a var, so we'll do var run me equals, and this time I'll do a function uh, it won't make any difference, it'll behave the same way, but we'll do once again console.log run me ran. If I try and run run me right above our function, hop back over and refresh, we get run me is not a function. Why? Well, when JavaScript hoists this, it's going to do var run me equals undefined. So what are we trying to do right here? <laughs> We're trying to do this, undefined, open, close, and that's nonsense, you can't do that. This is what's actually gonna get uh, put up at the top. L like we had said before, with const run me, it's going to do, uh, it's going to do that, and a run me has no value. So again, we get slightly different errors, but if you're going to put a function in a variable, you have to run the function after the declaration. With this, you don't have to because the whole thing as I showed you a minute ago, is gonna get put up at the very top. That is how hoisting works, a real quick review. Var is always gonna get put at the top of scope and initialized to undefined. This is particularly important when we talk about scope because you cannot access a global variable here, line six, because the var x is gonna get put up at the top of the function or the global scope, wherever that happens to be. In the case of let and const, it is going to get hoisted just like var, but it is not going to be initialized. In the case of functions, you can pretty much do anything you want because JavaScript is gonna hoist the entire function. We'll put in there to the top of scope. Down here with function expressions, even though they are functions, only the variable is gonna get hoisted and it will behave uh, as whatever is, is used here, let const or var, that is the behavior that it will follow. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss any JavaScript Tuesdays and I will see you next time.